All right. Um, TJK is not here, so I, I will pretend to be representing him and myself. But before I do, I want to do two runs to my in-law, uh, Ed. I wanted you to give this speech on my behalf, but uh, <laughs> he refused. So two runs. So here it is. Um, I am representing Okene Elias, all of you know. He's somewhere, he's actually in on air now as we speak. So he's unavoidably absent. Um, I, I don't know what to tell you guys. I'm just so happy at what we have achieved so far. I know I've always had dreams and actually, I always felt my dreams would come true, but to be honest with you, I'm a little bit surprised at how well we have done. I want to start by thanking my wonderful young girl who is sitting to my <laughs> to my left. Uh, I begged her not to show the Oba and Uncle and the uh, three pots of soup <laughs> because I know. I know the reaction I get from Okafor, Dr. Okafor, <laughs> and my company. <laughs> I'll, I'll keep myself clean and sober tonight and be in my best behavior. But I've issued my two runs to my in law head. Uh, so, first of all, um, I want to thank the executives. Uh, both the, the United Kingdom and USA, led by ABC and the MAB. Um, it To me, it, it feels like when Moses led these Israelites and parted the Red Sea, that's exactly what the, the two executives have done. And unlike Moses, you've led us to the Promised Land. We're not wandering in the wilderness anymore. <clears throat> If you guys remember, our great Omaha was uh, worse than Sambisa Forest. It was worse. But if you go there now, it's better than when we left it. It is better than when we left it. I want to thank the chairman of the board for UK and America, Dr. Moka and Dr. Anele ABC. Why? Because without their stabilizing influence, I do not believe we will be where we are today. I don't think any of us would do anything without consulting those two. A special thanks to Eni Kano and Reggie Mama for what amounts to impossible. When OK told me that we were supposed to raise 500 million, you can ask him. I told him that was not possible. But Enikano and Moma, however they did it, but they got help. So Talib, Yuko Abasi, Ibeku, Kinsulu Mezrika, Ola, Loki Woko, Biwakama, Choksi and I want to thank all of you and um, I want special thank you to a few people. Our Chancellor, my I like to <laughs> I like to call him my without him none of this would be possible. I can tell you that. The man is just out of this world. And uh, our communicate, I call him the communication czar, and my wingman, George Ezebe, he will tell you where he wants to take us. And of course, Lucky. Lucky has also become my reliable wingman. And I call him as Inkele, the wizard. I don't know. I used to think he drinks too much or that, but I'm beginning to doubt that he doesn't. Because the wizardry of all these things he does, I know none of us here can do it. 
I also want to thank Dr. Bua. Unfortunately, he's not here. I don't see him. Who is leading by example? Dr. Buawa is almost 80 years old, but he has the energy of a young man. But the person I want to thank the most is you. You, meaning you looking at me now, you on this program. It wasn't just money, it was your suggestion, your ideas your advice, your physical cash, but most importantly, your presence. I was particularly happy today when I looked in that crowd and I saw a good girl that I haven't seen. The last time I saw him was with Okron Kwagan and then a few other people I thought that was like 15 years ago, but uh, I believe so. <clears throat> I'm glad that you're here and all of us are here. I want to thank our former presidents. They started this journey. I know how much uh, 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 Dr. Koji suffered. I know how much he did. And I want to thank him and his wife too. I want to thank all our grand patrons. I wish I could see Nabweni and Aaron Nemona, but I, I don't think they're here yet. But when they show up, please remind me to actually thank them. I want to thank Dr. And, uh, uh, Mrs. Ume, who is here now, and said the opening prayer. And Charles Moka himself, he's not here, but I know why I want to thank him. When he asked me to take up this job with uh, God's will, I declined, but they overruled me. And believe you me, I'm happy they did. I'm happy they did. I know how much we've suffered. I know how many phone calls. And I give credit to my wife here. She, she thinks that Omaha is like, the second wife in this marriage. <laughs> but I believe you're seeing the result. Now, the question the COB has asked me to, to stress and drive home today is, what have we achieved so far? It must be clear to everybody that the dining hall is complete. It is done. And I spoke to Enel yesterday. Can we clap for ourselves, please? <laughs> it is done. And it was done on the cheap. That's what's so wonderful. That, that was the mastery of Enel. It was done on the cheap. As we speak, Enel confirmed to me from the middle of the ocean that we've ordered the, cook, um, the cooking uh, stuff, the utensils, chairs, we've ordered them. We paid a portion of the security fence. All of that is ongoing. Now, I don't want to delve into what other people did, but you guys know the story of Newhouse is done. You know the story of C Block is done, and several other things are done. Too many to mention. It's just that we are dreaming big, and I'm happy we are dreaming big. That school could start small any day if we really want to start small. Yes, we can. Now, we all did all that in record time. We did all that in record time. I want to make an extra mention of what some of us here are not aware of that Eneli did, which is to do the estimate of all the projects and I can tell you that that man may have saved us close to 100 to 200 million dollars. Can we give him a round of applause, please? So he, he, I know how much time and the effort he's put into it. And I also know how much time and effort Dr. Koji and uh, Anil and uh, 
Dr. Kafa are putting into all this, and it's just it's just monumental. We've done all that, and if there is donation fatigue, we have to face it. We have to come. We have to admit that yes, people at some level are tired, but we can give them strength. We can bring new energy into the deal by changing our focus from restoration to sustainability. That's the whole idea. Once we succeed in doing that, believe you me, the money will start rolling in. And, and boy, is it going to be rolling in? Is it going to be rolling in? Can you imagine a world where everyone here, everyone here, there are 12 of us, everyone here gives scholarship to one kid, just one, that's it. Can you imagine that world? Can you imagine a world where everyone here did what Obujawa, uh, Dr. Obuawa, I believe, Obuawa, yes, did this morning. But I'll leave that for Mazin Kele to handle. People have donated at the class level I did. I'm probably one of the highest donors in my class. People have done at the chapter level I've done. All of us here have done. We donated to the $1,000 Nigerian and 1 million roll honor roll. Most of us here have done. I know I've donated at least two times for Toppy. Uh, I've done. I've donated at least six times for Badia. Most of you have done that. We've done <coughs> for Brick Campaign. And as we speak, the first order of Omarian blazers and scalps have arrived. And once the auction starts, the money will start rolling in. Dr. O.O. Kabam has already fired the first shot. So I'm really proud of all of all of us here and all those that could not log in. I know the timing of this meeting is actually not suitable for people in the UK and Nigeria. So hopefully we'll factor this in at our next meeting. I would therefore call, George, are you ready? Um, I would therefore call on George Ezebe after this speech to demonstrate the new sustainability. Thank you and God bless you all.